Marcel Darius, the number one pick out of Alabama. If you ain't up there right now, you don't need you right here with me. When I met Marcel Darius this summer, do you think of someone who's a big kid? Let's go, let's go! Yes, sir! Usually, that's a personality that's had it pretty good through life. Let's go, oh. We got to win up front. But to see a guy like Marcel Darius be the big kid is kind of astounding, given that he not only had to deal with poverty, but he was mocked in school, and so many people close to him kept dying. For a guy who's been through so much tragedy, he doesn't look wounded. He looks like it made him stronger somehow. Go big or go home. Hey, that's the plan. I'll try to follow you. Growing up, it was a struggle, right? A real struggle. My mom had seven kids, six boys and one girl. People laughed at us and picked on us and called us names. Talked about we couldn't afford clothes and shoes. And I got my first pair of cleats when I got to college. Wow. You lost your father when you were pretty young? I lost my dad when I was eight. Wow. Um, grandma and grandfather a little while after, then mom right before him. <sighs> and your brother? Second year in the NFL, brother killed in a triple homicide. <sighs> you got to be thinking this can't be happening. Yeah, it's like, why? Like, Lord, why you keep taking everybody away from me that really matters to me? So I'm just fighting through it and steady playing ball and got the world on my back. Now that Mr. Big Stuff has truly hit the big time. How y'all doing? Recently landing a six-year contract extension that could earn him more than 100 mil. Get it, get it, he's get it, get giving it, back it, to his community, something he never dreamed of during his childhood. It's just kind of surreal. It's just kind of like really talking about it now. It's just almost like, damn, I can't really, I can't even believe that all this was really going on. Like, that was really life. Right. It was just too hard. Like, to some people, not having deodorant. It's not like, like not having deodorant to, to shower and not be able to put deodorant on, not put hygiene stuff on. It's just like, you just got water on you, and then you just stepping out the house with clothes on. And then that, that, that added to why I wasn't as popular growing sure. up. But when you don't have the money, and you're just really trying to do whatever you can to get to the next day. Just kind of keep your head down and just continue to fight for what you want. And I would have never thought that it'd be true, but actually it's true. I want y'all to really pay attention to what we're doing, OK? Get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh, get it. Oh, there we go. Full back. <laughs> Coming to a school like this, how does it make you feel? Um, It's great. Just really coming back and just giving the kids a little bit of what I always wanted growing up. I always wanted an athlete or a superstar, somebody famous to come to my school and just give us a little, you know, give us a little pep for the morning so we can be happy throughout the rest of the day. Play 60 on three. One, One two, three. Play 60! Let's go.